Ken from Wattmaster and today I'm going to show you how to terminate variable speed drive cable. At Wattmaster we have two styles with the Alco glands. We have the EMC type finger gland, it's generation 5, and we have the premium Alco gland that um, we terminate and it uses a 360 degree bead type sealing on the cable. This can terminate both the braided and the taped cable and now I'll we'll demonstrate how to use them on the cable. When terminating the VST cable, the whole point of the procedure is to get good 360 degree contact onto the braid. So what we're going to do today is show you how to use firstly the EMC type gland with the fingers inside. So this gland, I've prepared the cable earlier. What we're trying to do is uh, create that Faraday cage for the cable and continue that, um, that braid through into the enclosure and onto the earth. So this is one of the easiest glands to use. Previously we've had sharp fingers with inside the gland and you, you couldn't move the gland once you've applied it. What we've done now, we've got a, a knuckle type of situation so it's a nice smooth finish and it gives a, a broader span across the braid. Just like any other IP rated gland we have, we've got the back neoprene seal that tightens down onto the back of the cable giving an IP rating. This one here, IP68. We, and as, as we tighten up the back nut, we actually compress onto that seal and which also at the same time in this EMC dial gland tightens the knuckles down. So what we have to do, we determine the outside diameter of the cable and the overbraid measurement and we make sure our gland fits that cable. Then it's as easy as getting your termination length. We've done it very short here to fit on camera. And what we do then is we slip that over now I've included some tape on the braid as it's very hard to work with. So if you put some tape around, it holds the braid in place where you want it to be. So we can push over and then we push that gland forward until we get to the desired position and then we tighten the back seal up. So what we're doing there, we're actually closing down the knuckles onto the braid and we're also getting an IP rated seal on the back of the cable. And then I haven't got any uh, sockets to do that up or shifters and then we have a tight seal with our EMC generation 5 cable gland. The second style of EMC gland that we're going to show today is the Alco premium style. Now this one here comes in uh, several different parts we, and it also comes with two seals. So when you go to use the gland you've got to determine the outside diameter, the over braid diameter and then you select the right type of gland and obviously we've prepared this cable earlier and we've determined what gland we use. In this case it's an ALC EMC 40 and uh, what we'll do there, we'll uh, pull out the, the incorrect seal and we'll toss that aside, we don't have to use that and then we'll pull the gland apart. So as we did on the other EMC gland, we have the back seal that we um, pull apart, we have the body which is in the middle there and then we have the sleeve that goes on at the, the last point. So the first thing we apply is the back nut and the seal over the cable and then we have the body that has to go onto the, the cable. So in some circumstances on the tight fit it'll stop at the rubber which is a perfect thing that we, we want to happen because that stops any of the bead going down further and we know the beading will then contact the braid. Now this is the bead, it comes a, a, as a uh, one length and you have to cut it off to the correct length. So what we do, we wrap that around the braid and we determine the length. Okay, so we get a, a, uh, a rough estimate there, go one bead longer so, we, uh, so we're not going to cut it short and then we have to apply. Now you can put that together before you put that on the cable, so it makes it a bit easier, it gets a bit hard if you just do it on the cable. Roll that over the edge and down onto the seal. So what you'll see there when you look down the cable is the bead making contact with the braid and onto the back seal. So once we've got the body and the beading in place, the beading making contact with the braid, we slide the sleeve down. Now in a cir normal circumstance, the actual sleeve you would terminate into the box or the motor first and we just make sure we don't cross thread on the way in. So we tighten that sleeve into the body and obviously we'll use a shifter or a big spanner 
when we're doing that. And we do that up as tight. Then we bring the back lock nut up and we uh, insert the seal into the back of the body. And then we uh, tighten that up, making sure we get our IP rating at the back. And then you have the uh, finished product. That's it on the termination of the uh, VSD type cables. We have both glands, the Alco uh, Generation 5 and the Alco Premium EMC gland. We also have other EMC type termination and conduit systems. We have an Anaconda type product that actually has EMC compliant um, finish on the inside. And we also have a hazardous area type gland that fits onto the Anaconda. Thanks.